We're back here on the sweat. It's time for a little bit of hoops near and dear to my heart. I love it. Adam Kaufman here with you. Kenny Ducey, DraftKings contributor, and Ryan Mock, Josh, of course, host of the Four Seasons NBA podcast. Ball is life. Thank you for uh, being with us, gentlemen. And let's let's talk a little bit, obviously, about DK odds here. Now, uh, we need to know, courtesy of the DK Sportsbook, favorite bet to cover the spread tonight. Kenny, let's start with you. Uh, I'm going with a team that is really good out West and they're only one and a half point favorites. And that's the Los Angeles Clippers, the LA Clippers. They like to be called because they want to be cool. Uh, Did you know what their defensive rating is without Kawhi Leonard off the floor? It's actually 1.4 points better. That's right. This team might be the deepest team. Like, Oh, you you scared the Kawhi one. It's not going to play. You don't want to weigh the one and a half points against the Pelicans. The Pelicans are terrible on defense. So I don't care that the, the Clippers, they have a little harder time scoring the basketball without Kawhi, but you still have Paul George out there. You still have Marcus Morris. There's so many guys on this team that have proven capable. And how many times cough have we been here? We've said, Oh, the Clippers stars are out. The Clippers are tired on the second night of a back-to-back. Every th- people make every excuse in the world to fade the Clippers, and all they do is just continue to cover. This team is a cover machine. I'm taking the one. I'm laying the one and a half points here with the Clippers. I think they win pretty easily here against the Pelicans, despite the fact that the narratives on the Pelicans side they need the win. I-, I just don't see it happening for a team that just looked really lackadaisical. And the biggest thing here, Stephen Adams questionable. Stephen Adams doesn't play. The Clippers win this by ten points. Who's spitting your eggs, Benedict? This morning, <laughs> unbelievable. It's, it's like he's upset, Ryan, that they don't call him the NY Knicks or something like that. <laughs> they don't want to be cool. Who's your favorite to cover tonight? Uh, the Clippers bet's a nice one. They're looking very decent lately. But I'm going to go with the 76ers minus 11. And it's not so much because the Sixers are good, but it's more so the Thunder stink. Uh, Embiid and Toby are questionable, so I want to keep an eye on that. Uh, ben Simmons is out. But I still like minus 11. The Thunder have lost 13 straight. They don't look like an NBA team right now. Uh, and I went to check and see if Lou Dort was in because he's really, outside of SGA, the only chance they have. He's out tonight. So Sixers minus 11, I feel pretty comfortable about that. All right. Well, let's stay with you, Ryan. How about an underdog that uh, you're going to back tonight? Yeah. Uh, I looked at this and – had to double take because I'm not sure that they should have been an underdog, but the wizards plus three and a half. I really like they've won eight straight. They're scorching hot. Um, Them and the Knicks right now and the Hawks are playing well too, but those three teams are rolling right now. Uh, Russ and Beal seem to be fitting very nicely. Um, And it's kind of crazy to think about. I think it's kind of funny. Russell Westbrook over the last five seasons has averaged 26, 10 and 10 in five seasons. And the narrative was triple doubles were way too overhyped. And that's why he was going to get knocked and all he was is stat padding. But now the Wizards are winning and the talk isn't about the triple doubles, but it's about Russell Westbrook and winning. So now he's uh, turning into a better player in the eyes of NBA Twitter and a lot of analysts. So the Wizards are rolling. So plus three and a half, I'm all over. Kenny, is there an underdog that has upset you today? Uh, you know, it's so funny. I don't want to, I don't want to say it because now Ryan just talked about how they're going to cover, but I, I kind of like the, the thunder plus 11 and a half here, because look, I, I, I don't, I can't explain how the thunder are going to score without Lou Dort, but it seems like it's a punt game for the Philadelphia 76ers. You've got, there are rumblings right now, just rumblings out there. I'm seeing them on Twitter that there's a chance that Ben Simmons could play in this one, but Joel Embiid is questionable. Uh, Tobias Harris is questionable. Furkan Korkmaz is questionable. And that's all after Korkmaz and Harris specifically played over the weekend. So it sounds to me like it, th- they're just going to take this opportunity to rest their players because they know they're going to beat the Thunder, right? But I feel like in these spots where they've known that they're going to beat this team, uh, the 76ers have a propensity for just not covering. So I, uh, again, I mean, it, this is a this is an NBA team, sort of, the Thunder. Uh, I, I do think that they could potentially get a little close here. They have some guys that can shoot the basketball. The other one I like here is, is Minnesota plus nine and a half. They've covered in two of their last uh, two of their last three. Um, and uh, it's it's going to be a little difficult. But again, the Jazz, you know, th- there's Jordan Clarkson. There's Jordan Clarkson issues now. He was like really good for them early in the season. And now, you know, being thrust into a bigger role, it's kind of weird for him. You know, obviously the no Donovan Mitchell is a big problem. Um, and the, the Timberwolves, Ryan said it last week. 
that this is just a completely different team with D'Angelo Russell healthy. They act, they look like a competent team. I think they could cover the nine and a half here against Utah as well. But I, I, so yeah, the Thunder more speculative. The the Timberwolves I have a little more reason behind. Ducey, how about a uh, total tonight that's caught your attention? Uh, it's the Knicks and the Suns over two and two fifteen. I was going to say two and a half. My baseball is on my mind. The <laughs> Knicks have hit six overs in their last seven. The Suns six overs in their last nine. This is a different Suns team than we're used to seeing. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. They don't have the slow pace that we're used to. This is a team that run now gets out in transition. They don't play as good a defense as they used to play early in the year, and, and they push towards the top 10 in pace. So I think that they'll do their part here. And the Knicks offense, you know, we've seen, I, I told six overs in the last seven, Knicks offense has really been rolling right now. And again, you're going to think that, okay, well, two good defenses. I, I really think that the pace here, will get us enough possessions to get over 215 um, because they're, they're two good defenses, but they're also two really good offenses. And especially on the Sun side, the defense has just kind of started to slow a little bit. The Knicks to an extent as well. It's two and a half. You got to hammer that total. Even if it's just a That's first right. quarter total, you got to just I mean, crush that thing. What about a total first tonight? You, Ryan? Uh, I love the Phoenix Knicks over, but I have a backup because that one seemed like a too good to be true one. Um, I never feel confident about putting the Spurs and over in the same sentence, but I'm doing it because they're playing the Wizards and the Wizards are red hot. And I'm obsessed with the Wizards right now. Uh, 227 and a half is the over for that game. The Wizards are the fastest team in the league. And lately in the last seven games, they're playing even faster than their regular season total. Uh, They're on fire. Bottom half in the league in defense too really helps out that over 227. But like I said, the Spurs kind of want to slow things down and they want to play more defense rather than offense. But they got guys on their squad like DeJounte Murray, Derek White have been shooting well lately. So I think that the, I like the over 227 and a half. Ryan, let's uh, stay with you here and, and maybe, just maybe stay with your love of the Wizards as well. We need uh, player props that you're going to target tonight. Is you know Russell Westbrook going to do something special again? He's been on fire. He has been on fire, and my obsession with the Wizards is going to stop with this one. But the Phoenix Suns-New York Knicks game that we just talked about, Julius Randle over 26.5 points. Uh, Because I do think this game is going to be faster paced than the total, and I do think it's going to be close. This is a New York Knicks team that's the four seed right now, playing the two seed in the West. It's going to be a meaningful game. It's going to be a passionate game. People are going to be playing intense. Um I would have to double check. I think they're playing on the East Coast, right? It's at New York. The Knicks are allowing fans. The players feel That's that. That's true. Yes. Very that important very game. Close. It's going to feel different. It's going to be tight down the stretch. I think Julius Randle is going to get more touches than usual. So I like Julius Randle easily over 26 and a half. Kenny, will you be at the game trying to shout out that positivity into existence, that these prop bets coming to life? Uh, I won't. I mean, around playoff time, I think I will. Uh, I also, I like the Julius Randle call. I like the Julius Randle pl- uh, points, rebounds, and assists as well. I, I was looking at his rebound total in this game. I really wanted to take it, it's, but it's at 10.5. I was hoping it'd be at 9.5 because he, he's gotten double digits a, a few times here over the last five games. But I found one even better while I was looking at Julius Randle. And I'm not sure, I mean, it, it's not a mistake, but it seems like it, right? R.J. Barrett over one and a half three-pointers at minus 155. I know it's a little – there's a little juice there, but for me, this is this is a no-brainer. He's averaging seven three-point attempts over the last five games. He's averaging three threes made over the last five games. Uh, he's had multiple threes over the last five games. He has not not covered one and a half over the last five games. So, I, I, look, the, 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 the R.J. Barrett corner three is a cornerstone of the Knicks offense. Uh, he's a volume shooter from deep. They, they get him going from there. And so, again, one and a half threes. I know it's minus 155, but come on now. You've, you've, you've bet on a minus 155 money line, you know, in the last week. You've taken, you know, the Pirates uh, or the Cubs minus 155 or the, the you know, the Sixers. Minus, like, you, you've taken a minus 155 line. Just, just suck it up and take it. It's a winner. Kenny, let's uh, wrap with you here. Or, well, we'll get both of you, but let's wrap with this question. That is favorite overall bet on the DK Sportsbook in the NBA tonight. Could be a total, a prop, whatever you got. I, I like it that much. It's the R.J. Barrett prop of a one and a half threes. Um, again, I just, I think that it, I, I see a very hard way that it doesn't hit. Um, I also like the, the, the in that game, um, the over as well. I'm going to stick with my favorite bets there. All right, Ryan, what do you think? Favorite bet? 
my favorite is Zion to get a double double, and it's plus one sixty. Um, Kenny touched on it earlier. Steven Adams questionable big men with bad toes is not a good mix. I would love for him to rest. Uh, so I did some number crunching on the centers that they do play. Jackson Hayes is scared of rebounding. So if Jackson Hayes is going to start at the center position for New Orleans, I'm all over the Zion. Yes. To get a double, double, um, little tentative. If Willie Hernan Gomez gets the start, cause he's a big body down there and he does well on the glass. Um, but either way, if Steven Adams is out, I'm probably going to bet Zion to get a double double. Oh, the Clippers, Clippers are now at minus two, folks. Get those bets in on LA quick. <laughs> Better hurry up. Hours away from lock. Ryan Mock Josh, as well as Kenny Ducey. Gentlemen, thanks for hanging out with us.